Well, we managed to send an HD flip cam down to the miners and got an exclusive message, not only for us, but for some of the family members. And we shared it with them as we're going to see in a moment. But something noteworthy uh, to mention that stands out from the video is that one of the men, Dario Segovia, confirms that there is a deal between all the miners and they are not going to reveal some of what's been happening uh, below the ground. It's not clear if it will be revealed at some point or not, but right now uh, the rumors are proven to be true. There has been an agreement between the 33 miners that there are some things that could perhaps remain untold. Let's take a look. This is likely the last message the miners will record from the underground shelter. We have been here 65 days, oh, actually 66, but we are about to get out soon. I hope to meet you all up there, so I can give you more details, but we actually have an agreement here, so we won't give out some information. Here is Mario Gomez. Regards to my family, to my grandchildren, my wife and sister, we'll see you soon. The message, a response to the words of a loved one, delivered via video more than 600 meters below the surface. We just got an exclusive video recorded for us by the miners from within the shelter. They're trapped inside and I'm here with some of their relatives because we want to show them the video. He looks handsome, a bit thin, but he looks good. I'm so excited. We have suffered so much, but thank God we will be together soon. I think they are conscious of what is awaiting them up here, and we know they want to limit some information. There are things they should not say. They are very certain that they are famous. In the video, the men below tell Al Jazeera the messages from above have kept their spirits up. Hi, I am Esteban Rojas. I'm Chilean. We are down here in the mine, hoping to be pulled out to the surface very soon. Thanks to all those who worried about us, and thanks for believing that we are still alive. <laughs> Family members were relieved. The men looked relaxed, even joking for the camera. <laughs> Please understand this guy. Loneliness has affected him a bit. We call him the crazy one here. <laughs> As the rescue nears, it seems it is those above the surface who are the most anxious. The Chilean government has said that the first miners could start being pulled out of the mine Wednesday morning. However, we're hearing here that this could happen even earlier and uh, occur Tuesday night. Uh, the helicopter pilot who was talking to me earlier on, the person who is going to airlift the men to the nearest hospital, said that a weather phenomena that happens here called the Camanchaca, which is a cloud of fog that just settles in and clouds all visibility, has to be factored in. It could affect uh, the operation and this is the reason why the schedule cannot be set on stone. We know that when the men come out the president of Chile is going to be here and of course the story does not end once they're pulled out. Afterwards uh, we have to see how they adapt to the status of international heroes and obviously here are the stories they have to tell about the time they spent in confinement although as we saw in that exclusive video uh, there may be some things that will never be uh, told. Monica Villamizar, Al Jazeera, in Copiapó, Chile.